The episode begins with Gino's being reflected on the Saitama's vault, so he stops to watch a toy store window. Yep, these are toys. Saitama didn't like this fake Jojo, he wanted a Joseph Cowboy or Buzz Lightyear doll. Gino's answers his cell phone, it's his ex-girlfriend. Saitama tells him to hang up, cause he doesn't want his student with that little bit. Speak of the devil. Appears this guy who came from the hentai catalog of Hunter Hunter. Everybody runs, but Reptilian said he already controls the United States government, so he uses the drill tongue blow to attack some girls, but he ends up hit King who was passing through. For some reason, the stronger man dresses like a loser. Apparently, he's a Jojo too, I just missed the fabulously manly pose. Everyone celebrates because it's the first time they see a member of the Joestar family. Also, celebrate because he will beat the shit out of a government member. Reptilian kisses the floor, apologizing. All members of the government are filthy, tax is theft, evasion is self-defense. So he goes to a video game store, I bet he bought some dirty otaku game. I told you man, he's a loser and I know exactly how the loser's mind works, not that I'm a loser. Look at the happiness face of this mother I know how he feels. Saitama and Gino's just watch the weirdo doing weirdo things. Even the son wants to highlight King's oddities. Looks like he's taking those cocaine bags the police sees, which would still be less harmful than what's in there. Did Gino's tattoo his eyes? Appears this giant robot with a non-generic visual, I wonder if Power Rangers will defeat it. Big Bot wants to take a 3x4 photo of King because this one is too ugly. The robot gets its giant sword, it's asking King to autograph its sword. He unintentionally drops the King's Cap. The last time this happened he became a Game of Thrones king. The mecha points its sword at people scaring them. He'll not kill them. He just enjoys scaring others, he's a jokester. Saitama and Gino's give him the evil eye, they don't like dirty otaku, me either. But the question that won't go away. Will you autograph my sword? I have no pen, sorry. Now he's in a bathroom feeling guilty for not having a pen. Since he's already in a bathroom he will use this time to j off, sometimes a man needs to relax. He is me in the future, so I can be a superhero in the future too, right? Then he remembers when a mutilate arm appeared in his front. How ungrateful when someone's trying to give you a hand. You're thinking why he thought that out of nowhere, but I tell you this must be a really traumatic experience. He looks at an explosion and sees Geno's, let's watch this fight more closely. The robot heartthrob breaks the giant sword as if it were glass. It even sounds like shattering glass. Then he uses the thunder luffy fire punch, it's a quite big name so he doesn't say it before using. The arm comes back to him, I don't know what the best sound or animation is. Apparently, Saitama went shopping in Hawaii. Colossus stepping on Kratos on the PlayStation 2 game. Geno's must be pressing the X button fast, dude. He breaks Mecha's leg like glass, I think this material doesn't have good quality. Saitama remembers forgetting to buy tomatoes and returns to the supermarket. Now let's go back to the virgin guy. That's more virgin than I thought. I don't even know this character and already want a doginchi of hers. Saitama literally comes up and asks him what he'd like to hear from a girl. King then he notices that a bald man sprouted inside his home, I think I've read a doginchi about it. King walks away as he's not really into doginchi, if you don't know what a doginchi is, well, lucky you. Then Saitama's brain grows and he becomes super smart. Now a poem, I dig, you dig, he digs, she digs, we dig and they dig. It's not beautiful but it's deep. Only the smart ones will hit the like and subscribe. Saitama picks up the Gundam drill game and asks if it's possible to exterminate humanity in it. King answers him, then he smashes the lowly game on the floor cause it didn't come with his favorite waifu, a fair move. So everything turns black and white into a silent 1930s movie. Change is seen, Geno's is using skills acquired as a circus acrobat. He burns off the robot from its nape. Burn it down I can understand, but do this by the neck is cowardice. The mecha becomes what's supposed to be molten iron, but I have no idea what this really is. There's a little robot inside the big robot, he got stronger like that, he's like Majin Buu. King is playing a video game, I hope he's playing Hollow Knight because I only respect who plays Hollow Knight. Saitama is black and white, but King is still colored, I love these references to the 1920s movies. So Saitama tells a very funny joke. Ride a bike is like having sex, some people learn it from their dad. King is sweating because he learned it from his dad. Then a small bird invades the home with a message. Would you be interested in apartment insurance? Saitama caresses the crow's beak with teeth. King flashbacks about several monsters he found, they all had really good bodies. What kind of disco is open at 3 p.m.? It attacks with bright purple strings, I don't understand why to fear this. Geno's throws a fire fire extinguisher in the mini mecha, he wasn't with this fire extinguisher at the beginning, he probably stole it. So he uses a lot of water against the robot. Water, I wonder if it's his. Let's go back to Saitama the animal fan. Almost that. Another flashback, this octopus hurts King's eye, I think he was lucky, I've seen octopuses do worse things in Japanese animations. Then this bloody boy appears in a sweatshirt, I'm sure he's unemployed too. I'm always right when it comes to unemployment. So Saitama says he has impregnated King's sister and runs away. This is the kind of people I hate the most, those who have sex. So we see Gino's talking to a doctor, I think it's expected since he broke his arm. In the end, there's old schnoz making a meeting with a lot of bad guys, sounds like a great idea, doesn't it? Sonic is so focused on the volume of his favorite light novel he doesn't even pay attention to what the heck the white collar is saying. In the actual end, Fubuki and Sonic are hunting Saitama. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe, I'd like to ask you to watch at least two videos of the channel in a row because it helps me a lot, also make a friend watch this video too, use violence if necessary, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, bye.